Police have now issued a new update in the case of missing Victoria Taylor, who was last seen in the Moulton area of North Yorkshire. We know that Victoria left her home at around nine in the morning on the 30th of September and she was seen at 11.35am on CCTV at the BP garage purchasing drinks around the Norton area of Moulton. Police have released a new CCTV image of Victoria. As you can see, she is wearing that black jacket with the stripes down the side. She's got the pink salmon Vans bag on her back and she's got some stuff in her arms and she is wearing the camouflage cap as well. Police have now reported that a further sighting of Victoria was captured at 11.53am on Monday the 30th of September at Moulton Bus Station on Railway Street and today this is the last confirmed sighting of her. Over the last week police have said that they have undertaken a number of extensive inquiries in the search for Victoria. The investigation has involved the collection of a review of CCTV footage and passive data research and they have searched key areas of both land and water and we have interviewed several witnesses. So as you can see from this map in this hunt this is the timeline of events so at nine o'clock in the morning on Monday 30th of September Victoria is seen leaving home in Wood Street in Moulton. Just after 9am, September 30th, she's then seen walking in the direction of the community library in Commercial Street. Then at 11.35 on September 30th, CCTV shows Victoria in that BP garage on Wellham Road. Now, the police sees CCTV of Victoria passing the Moulton bus station. And the time for this is unknown on this map, but it is said on the police website that it was 11.53. Um, and as you can see here on the 2nd of October, the police drones have searched the local go golf course all the way up here. On the 7th, police have searched Police search switches six miles down river as the flood waters recede. And then Wednesday, October the 2nd, police find the possessions and are seen searching the River Derwent three miles to the south near High Hutton. Now, because of obviously they have found these possessions near the river, this is currently the area that they are focusing on. And they are saying the public can expect to see the police's continue search around that area. Now, local volunteers have been assisting in the search. And obviously, police are saying, please be careful, especially around the areas of the river if people are volunteering. And I know that they have been setting up volunteer spots where they are meeting and arranging volunteer searches and obviously keeping tabs on one another as well so there's a lot going on within the area too that obviously we're not seeing but we are hearing about it. At this time the police have said that they do not suspect any third party involvement in this matter and I've seen in the Facebook group that there has been um, accusations and speculations and blaming um, Victoria's partner um, and I truly hope that this this stops this, this is not substantiated and there is no evidence to prove this and the police have said there is no third party involvement so please stop that being said i'll keep you updated on this case make sure you hit follow so you don't miss the updates as i'm posting them and make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel for when i go over and cover lives over there on what is going on and i will see you guys soon bye for now